welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Lo. I am currently based in London and I just moved here about a month ago. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys where I live, show you guys my room, my building. So yeah, today's video is a home tour. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you thought, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos. So welcome to my home tour. For those of you who don't know, I live in London on the east side in a student accommodation. So the building has a lot of other students in there. So this Start is the hallway, I'm on the 15th floor, I'm not going to show you guys my room number, but we use these key cards to get into our rooms, kind of like a hotel, and when you open the door, this is the first thing that you see. So we'll start off on the left. So on the left you have my closet, this came with the studio, it's a two-door closet, and on the left-hand side you have the hanging area, I just have a bunch of coats and dresses and some nicer blouses. On the bottom there is space for more shoes, so I think I have four pairs of shoes down here. Then on the top I have my skirts and my pants just folded up. Then on the other side, on the top I have sweaters and scarves and just some wintery stuff. And I have my more casual t-shirts, my fancier blouses, and then I have two bins with underwear and socks. These bins are from Asda Home. On top I have two bins as well with bedding and workout clothes. The closet also came with a full-length mirror, which is super nice just to see your outfit before you leave the door in the morning. And that is basically it for the closet. Let's move on to the next part of the studio, the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with it. So the first part, I just have this sink, and then I have this drying rack from Ikea because I have to wash my own dishes. And I just have a little bit of an overview of what's on my countertop. So the first cupboard on top just has stuff I need for cooking, my utensils, plates, all that stuff, and then cups, stuff like that. These are the plates I have. The bottom one is from The Range and the other set is from Ikea and I think they're so cute. Then the last cupboard on the side I'll show you. I have three cupboards on top. The last cupboard I just used for food and food storage. It's not super organized, but it works. This is what it looks like. I have all my spices that I use for cooking. And then I just have some extra utensils up there that I need for cooking as well. So then on the countertop, I have some fresh fruit here. I usually have that because I just love fruit. And behind there, the fruit bowl is from Hema, by the way. Um, I'm super, I think it's super cute. And then behind there, I have a kettle, which I just use for boiling water, and a tiny smoothie maker. They're both from As the Home as well, and the smoothie maker is awesome because it's just small and doesn't take up a lot of space. But I have my prized possession, my Nespresso coffee maker. I make coffee here every day. I love Nespresso, it's so good, and I just have a little cup with these Nespresso cups. Then I just have my oils, what I use for salad dressings or cooking have them stored there, and then I have two hobs, which work pretty well for cooking, I'm honestly quite impressed. We'll go to the cupboards down here, this one's really unorganized, but it's just cleaning supplies. Then I have this pull-out one, on top I just have like aluminum foil, and below I just have more food storage, so more like pastas, rice cakes, stuff like that. And it just closes like that, so it's actually super handy. Then I have my fridge, um, again, not super organized, but I just did a big grocery haul, so it's pretty full right now. Um, it's not super big, but it's fine. It works for one person. So yeah, that's what's in my fridge in case you guys were interested. Um, and I'm pretty happy with it. Then right next to it, I just have this oven microwave combination, which is super nice to have. Not a lot of student accommodations have this, so it's great. And below that, I just have another drawer with pots and pans. So that is basically it for the kitchen. I'll show you guys one more little overview of what it looks like. So there is a door right across from the kitchen that has the bathroom. It is really tiny, but I try to make it work. So when you open the door, there's this little hook where I just have a headband, a towel, and a robe on. So I just have that by me at all times. Then there's a toilet, pretty standard, nothing really to explain. And I have this rolly cart from Ikea because there was no storage in this bathroom. It's not very organized, but it works for me. These are just all the products that I use. And then below that, I just have some makeup organizers. I have a first aid kit in there and I have some extra towels down there. Again, not super organized, but it works. But I just have this little thing that I tried to make a bit cute with a ritual scent stick, um, some tissues and a mirror. That's the full length mirror and the sink. So that's just where I brush my teeth, wash my face. This little cup holder is also from As The Home. And then my favorite part of the bathroom is this bath mat that I got from Urban Outfitters. I think it's so cute and I think it like adds something to this tiny bathroom. Then I just have a shower, it's a pretty standard shower. 
I just have a towel hanging here because I just showered this morning. And yeah, not that much interesting to see in the bathroom, but I do have this little hanger thing from Ikea that is super nice to organize your bathroom or like shower products. Um, so yeah, this is just another quick overview of the bathroom. Again, tiny, but it works. <laughs> Next, let's move on to the bedroom. Obviously, it's one room because it's a studio, but I tried to organize it into sections. This hook was here from the previous owner, and I just put my school bag and my like everyday coat on there. And then let's move over to the bed. So this is my favorite part of the room. I didn't really love the walls. They were a bit dirty, so I got this collage kit from Urban Outfitters and stuck it on there, and I think it looks really cute, and it adds some dimension to the room. So this is my bed, pretty standard again. I got the bed cover from H&M Home, and I got these cute yellow and white pillows from As The Home. So yeah, I think it just makes it look a bit more cozy when I'm just chilling on there. Then I have this cute little laundry hamper. It's from Zara Home. I think again, it goes well with the room. Then I put up these LED lights from Amazon. I wanted to live out my TikTok dreams, <laughs> but I think they look really cute. And again, they add some nice light to the room, especially at night. Then this section by my window, I have just decorated with some cute candles. And then this is my favorite part of the whole studio. This is what makes it worth it living so small is this view. You're looking out on city in London and it is amazing. At night as well, it just is so pretty. So these candles I got from Hema and as well with the little plate. I got these two candle holders from Hema as well. And then the last candle I got from my cousin. So right next to the big window, I have a door. So this is really nice to get some fresh air in there. There's obviously a screen for safety, but I just usually have this door open so that I have some fresh air, which I really enjoy. So let's close that up again and move on to the next section of my room. So in this corner, I just have a yoga mat that I use for working out. This really cute lamp from As The Home again, and then this chair from Ikea. I just wanted to make like a little cute section in this corner. I love the lamp, and then I have two bags hanging up here as well. Then I have a desk. The desk also came with the studio as well as that little um, organizer on the bottom and the desk chair. So I didn't have any like picking out in that. It was just there, but it's honestly pretty useful. This is what my desk usually looks like. I tried to organize a bit for you guys, but I have this makeup organizer from Amazon. I think it's really cute and this is just where I do my makeup in the morning. And honestly, I think it's a pretty cute decoration as well. And it turns, which is awesome. <laughs> And then next to it, I just have another mirror from Ikea, this card that my cousin got me in another room center. Then I have a tiny lamp from George Asda that matches the other one. I have this jewelry organizer from Urban Outfitters, which I think looks really cute, and two little jewelry boxes as decoration as well. Then on top of that, I just have a couple picture frames, some books, and my hat collection. So these pictures, one is of me and my friend Anna Fleur, and one of me and my friend Julia. Just some books I had to read for school. I'm sure more books will be added when I get textbooks. And then just my hats. And then right next to the desk is this garbage can. I got it off Amazon. I think it's cute. So that's another little room overview of the bedroom, living room area. So this was at night with the candles on. Just wanted to show you guys that it can also be really, really cute at night. So let's explore the building. Because I do live in a student accommodation, there are some great amenities. A lot are closed now because of COVID, but I tried to show you as much as I could. So I took the lift down to the bottom floor. There's this auditorium that you can use to study or for events, which is really, really great. And there's all these study areas or cool hangout areas, which is super nice. And there's an outdoor area as well, which is closed right now, but also really cool to hang out at, at night. And there's always people there, which is super fun. Then we have a gym. I didn't want to film in there because people were working out, but we have a really nice gym that's still open, which is awesome. Again, more hangout areas. Back there, you can also see a bar. They sell Starbucks coffee. It is amazing. So all these areas are kind of used for study or hanging out. On the left, you see a study room. You can book it and you can have that privately to study, which is amazing as well. Again, the courtyard. This is what the reception lobby area looks like. It's also super nice, more tables to study. And we're in this little alleyway, which is super nice. So that's what the alleyway looks like and what it looks like when you're going into the building. So again, when you're into the building, these are more study rooms you can rent. Everything is done by key card, which is super nice. It makes me feel pretty safe and you see the auditorium again and a little Starbucks coffee bar. So over here then we have another little like hangout area and there's two doors. So the door on the right is actually a movie theater room. It was closed right now, but it's really awesome. You can like rent it out and watch movies with your friends, which is so cool. And the door on the left was karaoke rooms, which you can also rent out with your friends, which is super, super fun. 
um, so the building has a lot of really great amenities. Then we took the elevator down to the basement. The basement is a little bit more boring, but there's just a laundry room where everyone does their laundry. Not super clean, but it's fine. <laughs> then there's this package room, which is super safe. So if you get a package, you get a code and you can open it and you can get your packages. I didn't have a package right now, so I couldn't show you. And we have all of our mailboxes, which open by key card, which is super nice again. So the best parts of the building are on the top floor. I'll take you up to the 31st and then we'll walk a little bit. So we're gonna walk up the stairs to the 33rd and the 33rd floor is my favorite. There's this nice long hallway and then we have a rooftop terrace. Like look at this guys, it just rained but in nice weather there's always people out here. You can chill, there are benches and the skyline is amazing. Especially at night, this view is insane. Honestly, probably one of the best things about living in this building is just getting to enjoy this view. There's also a library up here, so it's usually pretty quiet and you can study and eat or like just chill up here, which I've used a couple times, which is super nice. There's a bar on the other side, so you can see more of East London, which is also super cute. And that is just Shoreditch and Spitalfields over there. Then we go down to the 32nd floor. Here there's a cafe, again, that sells Starbucks, that sells drinks, it's super nice. You can sit here, you can study. Um, I absolutely love it. I haven't been up here that much, but I've heard it's super good and the drinks are amazing. So that's what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing where I live, seeing what my building looks like. See you guys soon.